Many people aren't aware how valuable and effective sports psychology can be, and even fewer people can afford the opportunity to work with a seasoned sports psychologist. With Patreon, I'm both educating people on the value of sports psychology and bringing affordable guidance to athletes who need more help focusing on their mental game and aren't able to commit to one-on-one -on -one sessions. The price of Patreon starts at just $5 a month, which helps us continue to produce high quality content. Our higher tiers are a lot more involved with the fundamentals of sports psychology and how you can apply it to your life. We are here to make sure that all athletes at every level can develop the mental and emotional toolbox they need for success outside of physical training. With your support, this Patreon will become a great place for all of us to grow as athletes and more importantly, to grow as people. Is there anything that you could say to young athletes that are watching? Any like advice that seems to be repetitive that almost every young athlete you've ever mentored has had this come up? Yeah, well, I'm going to say again from the beginning of our interview here, thank you, thank you so much for interviewing me. It's fun. Um, meditate. I know it's hard in the beginning, but the, the benefits of meditation are just insane over months and years. Mm -hmm. the, the, like the ability to sort of trust yourself and to know yourself mm -hmm. better yeah. and to sort of work through the sort of psychological and emotional obstacles. There's so much power in meditating. And then the other thing is to stay away from advice that doesn't feel right. Mm -hmm. So be careful about who you ask for advice. You want to go to somebody who's generally positive and has, has done well in that particular field. Mm -hmm. So we want to stay away from naysayers and people that are fear-based. I often say that if you're you know, asking for advice and somebody is fear-based, you're, you're moving in the wrong direction because mm -hmm. they're going to give you some version of fear, why it can't happen or why you won't succeed or, you know, mm -hmm. why, you know, something negative. So we want to stay clear of negativity. There's enough, life's difficult enough. We're going to have enough experiences with trauma and negativity. We don't need that from the people that are guiding us.